Welcome back to the State Series. Today we're talking about Minnesota. It's my home state and I can't wait for all the positive comments I'm going to receive about it. Speaking it into existence, Minnesota is known as the North Star State, but we like to call ourselves the Land of 10,000 Lakes. Minnesota comes from a Native American Dakota word meaning cloudy or muddy water or sky tinted water. Starting with the classic Scandinavian and Viking name of Eric because a lot of people from Scandinavia moved to a place that is now Minnesota because of a similar climate and land opportunity. Garrison is for Garrison Keeler, the host of a popular Minnesota talk show called A Prairie Home Companion. Harriet is the name of one of the beautiful lakes in our state. I love this name, especially with the nickname of Hattie. Iceland is a contemporary name and a nod to the fact that we get a ton of snow and ice in Minnesota. Depending on where you live in the state, we get between 36 and 70 inches of snowfall per year. Judy is for Judy Garland, one of my absolute faves. She was born in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Judy's given name was Frances Ethel Gump. Minnie is a nod to our state name of Minnesota as well as our largest city, Minneapolis. Nickel is a pretty cool word name. It's for Nickelodeon Universe, which is our theme park inside of the Mall of America. It is the biggest mall in America and we live pretty close, so we go quite a bit. I remember when it opened, it was so cool. I was 10 years old. Paisley is for Paisley Park. If you were a Prince fan, he is from Minnesota and he lived here his whole life. Estelle is French for star and it seems fitting because we are the North Star State. And then Wally is on here because our state fish is the walleye and we have a lot of great fishing locations with all of our lakes. Minnesota just voted on a new flag too. Up next, we're going to Virginia. 